This week on In the Epic Shop, Landon tries to beat the heat. It's about 30 degrees Celsius. Christian wants to do some tests. Or we're going to test it, right? Then our two-door Jeeps get the first of many upgrades. All right, like I said, there's gonna be like five things we're gonna do to these Jeeps right off the bat. First was taking out the seat as you saw in the last video. In this video, we've got to install the Kraken so we can air our tires up. We're gonna throw in our Sunrider soft tops because we love the open air, but unfortunately where we live, it rains all the time. So having a full soft top would just be a bit of an annoyance and you would have to work to have it basically. With the soft top in and finding a place to put my phone, we're gonna install Epic's new Crow Molly system rack for the top because we have a plan for a bunch of things to get attached to that. And the reason we're doing the Sunrider the same day is because this is gonna allow us to use the full Crow system instead of the smaller one that doesn't have the closeout panels because we have no plans of putting the hardtop panels ever back in. We're gonna throw those up where the rear seats are that are never gonna get put back in either. So. Landon has already been started here because he just likes to go, go, go. So he's doing the wiring. So as you can see, we've already got the wires up to the battery for the compressor to go down to the crack and it's gonna go come up underneath the passenger seat and it automatically fits the 2024 seat that is in power because it's exactly the same. And it also fits it if we had the power seat. So everything's basically set up nicely. We're starting off with the old teal Jeep that we haven't yet figured out the exact name we're gonna call it yet, but don't worry, it's not gonna get named a Jeep. It's gonna have a whole different, it's gonna have an identity of its own, I promise you that. It'll leak like normal. We're gonna put some butyl down so we seal the already not very watertight floor plug, but might as well not make it worse than it already is. It's pressure stops, pressure relief. It's satisfying, you just sit here. You can literally make a song out of that. going to be installing any of the lights or the bags today because I don't know where all my wiring is going to run yet because probably we're going to put our radios up here and if I'm doing that I might as well run everything the same direction as the antenna and power for the radio so whether that is this way or that way I still haven't even figured out where I'm putting the antenna yet unlike other places in the states I have to worry about a tree ripping it from wherever it is so I'm not really a fan of putting it off the side of the hood. Okay, okay so, so that's pretty cool. Now the we, we got to get the rear best top clamp, and then we first got of all we got to get the Sunrider on. Yep. Then we're gonna have to do some trimming to the clamp. Yep. Uh, to actually fit. Fit and hold everything down. Yep. Okay, so I guess we should open up the best top bag. Be careful before you decide to cut into your soft top bag. You don't want to cut the soft top. There. Ah, okay. 
Okay. Well, if we close the top, no, I get it's poking right here. So yeah, the last, last thing we need is make it worse here. Okay, so that goes back. With enough modifications, we could have fit the sunshade. We may revisit that on another day, but I'm not interested in doing that today. It's a little warm. And Paul's still gotta work on his Jeep, so I gotta move. And get Sean's Jeep out of here. So, all in all, we have our Sunrider, we have our Crow, we have our Kraken. Let's see if we can get Paul's done today too. So we just finished the top four out of five things that you can do for your Jeep. We have the Kraken air inflation system. I happen to have the one with the pressure module in it because I'm cool. Two is we did a Crow Molly system is above there. And then three, our best number one thing I love is the Sunrider soft top is in there. I love the Sunrider, it's amazing. Four, I removed the rear seats, they're gone got rid of those things nobody needs those and number five will be figuring out where to put our phone we got a few things on order and we'll be showing that to you shortly but uh, otherwise yeah there's your top five things four are done one to go out all right guys we got my two door back in here as you can see I have lots of space to carry stuff but we have to be very strategic in this so we're gonna put in the first step we need I need to be able to stack more than just one level so we're gonna have to have multiple levels. To do this, I have a product from Vector Off-Road today. I had one in my previous four-door. Turns out they also make the nicest one for a two-door, so why wouldn't I just go with something I already knew? So we're gonna put a shelving system in here to allow me to at least split up packing to two levels, and that's a starting point where we're gonna go with this. So let's go find the box somewhere in this shop and open it and see what we got. Ugh. Here we go. More pieces. All right. Already comes with mounting for Rotopax holders if you wanted to mount like some water or stuff underneath this inside. So we got the corner pieces, or these go to the, the roll bar where you would normally mount your soft top. Since we don't need a soft top, these are going to mount where the hard top bolts down. Maybe we can even find a way to mount stuff to there because we got to use every inch of this two door to survive. So that's actually kind of nice because there's a slight tip backwards the way I have it set, which means stuff shouldn't slide this way as much. But all in all, it is not going anywhere. That is a beautiful shelf. And honestly, this just is a game changer already for basically doubling almost the amount of space I have to organize without having to take everything out of the car to get to something. Because I don't want to have to empty the Jeep to grab one item back there. This is just one piece of my organization plan. This is basically gonna be the top part. I think it's going to have like the, the bags for the clothes and gear and some other stuff up here so it's easy accessible. But I have a package coming from Goose Gear that'll be below this. So I'm hoping with the Goose Gear, the middle section and this, I'll have three levels of organization possibility. Plus 
what's gonna be behind it because the goose gear doesn't go all the way to the front seat. So there's gonna be a bunch of space in between for larger items, like maybe if I wanna bring a comfier chair or a tent that's longer when it's packed. You'll just have to wait and see. This is just one of many videos. I think we've got 30 of them to shoot in the next couple months. So if you wanna see how I decide to outfit mine and Paul decides to outfit his, you're just gonna have to stay subscribed to the channel, like, comment, hell. Maybe I put the wrong item in, maybe I put the best item. Maybe you've never heard of this before, we'll make sure to link this down below, but try and stay cold guys, it's hot out. Okay. We're always eating around here. It's a, it's a problem. All right. 